Oops. My mistake. Okay, it was in law. No. Yeah, your sister in law. So that's what you do on Sunday. Um, visit my mom. Uh, a pop -up. In a pop -up. Yes. Uh, happy free day. My mom. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Carla, welcome to the class. Thank you, teach. No, I'll see you. Okay, guys, let me see. Let me check on something. Just give me one second, please. Stay from the system. Just one second, just one second. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Jose Ortiz, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Just fine, just fine. What about you? I am a little bit um, preocupado. Worry. Worry. A little bit, a bit worried? worry because um Sunday we will uh we will have a competition. Oh really? Yes, gymnastic competi competition. We are uh, and in home. At home. Uh huh. Uh, uh huh. At home. Uh, the people, the um, other clubs, will come to our gym. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice. Uh -huh. We are nervous for that because the people, other countries like Guatemala, 
uh, Honduras will they will come to participate with us. That's nice. Yes. That's nice and that's excellent, right? You will have the opportunity to share with other people. It's always good. Yes. And makes the, the competition perhaps better. I, I consider we are, we did everything possible to get to do the best in the competition. Let's hope to get the results. Yes. That's nice, that's nice. Well, welcome, mister. Nice having you. Thank here. you so much, teacher. Okay, guys. Let's see. Carlos Elivaldo, good evening. How are you, Mr. Good evening, teacher. Very nice, teacher. Excellent. And how are you? How's everything? What's the plan for the weekend? Um, my, my weekend is uh, in my, in my, my core. The, um, Entrar, teacher, centro. Okay, check in. I check in in seven seven p.m. Um, and three quart 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 and and four p.m. Salida, digamos, la salida. El trabajo. And in my eh, lo, o sea, luego we are team in in drive and in my my visit and 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 what do you say suegro? In laws. My in-laws. My in-laws. And, and salt, 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 venta, salt. Sale. And the, of the pupusas. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, in my, in, Saturday and Saturday and and salir teacher go out grow grow and my drive and where are you going less less in in, in wife. Okay. Lesson, my wife uh, and study. Oh, you take her, you drop her off for her class. That's nice. Yes. Oh, excellent. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm you. Rosalina, I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, question, question. And question. And my activity in Chimini. Uh, okay, you can do it today or you can do it Monday. Uh, one day. Okay, perfect. No problem. Okay, thank you. No problem. Rosalina, good evening. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. We got a lot of work to do tonight. Let me see the first one. Let me share with you.
Okay, if you remember yesterday, I was showing you this exercise, right? That we were supposed to finish it yesterday, but due to the time factor, we couldn't. We have here, you have to label the description to the, of the process with the right heading, okay? Analyze the job, identify personal current skills and knowledge, identify training solutions, evaluate performance after training, and decide skills and knowledge gaps. List all opportunities and areas of improvements where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and skills of the staff. Ask employees what areas they need help with. Find the best way to provide training. One-on-one -on -one coaching, short-term and long-term training, e-learning. Decide the option that best fits the needs of your staff and company. Ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence of a deficiency in skills or knowledge. Observe what the employee does well and what needs improvement. Check for qualification, training courses, and responsibilities from previous positions. Get more individual information from human resources. Discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down indicators of knowledge and skill that match the position. Identify the process change in the description. Okay, this is what you are going to do. Label, you need to write down. You're going to do this working in small groups. I'm going to send you the groups right about now. Okay, let's see. Okay, groups are open, let's do it. What it will help with. Okay. In what page is it? Page number thirty-four in the what? Okay. Thirty-four. Okay. The fears. Okay. 
Okay, I start with the first. For me, in the first, in the first is second, second, identify personal current field knowledge. What is your opinion? Yeah, number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. For me, is is number one is identify personal current skill and knowledge. 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 I I agree with you. Knowledge. Yes. Okay. For me, uh, analyze the jump is the four. Mm. Evaluate performance after time. Uh, analyze the jump is observe what the employee does well and what needs ah. to improve. Okay. Improve. Uh, observe the employee does well and what the employment. Check for qualification for training quality. for responsible with more individual information. Hmm. I analyze the job. Yes, I agree. And you can analyze the job is number five. Mm. The number five. Ah. Yep. Uh, Discuse and describe the person. Responsibility of position with the employee right down in the cash money. That's great. Uh, yeah. Once again. Okay, you then. Okay, partners, and uh, number three, identify training solution. Okay. <clears throat> number three, evaluate. All right. Uh, No, which, uh, number three is identify training solution. Number four is evaluate performance after training. No, no. The number three is evaluate performance after training. Ah, okay.
The number two is even uh, high skill and knowledge gap. Yeah. What? The high skill and knowledge gaps is to find the best way to approach training. Mm -hmm. One one coaching. Okay. Uh, for example, evaluate performance after training. What what is the number 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 four, identify training solution. That's well, I got a new product. Check for qualification, training, course, and responsibility from previous position. Get more new information from you, sir. <laughs> Yes, for me, for me is number it's, four. Yeah, it's correct. Number two is the size skill and college prep. Mm -hmm. Number two, decide the skill and knowledge gap. Okay. okay, partners, we we are agree. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's go check. Number one, identify personal tour. It is time, guys. Come back.
Okay. Okay, guys, let's do the exercise. Okay, here we are. And let's number one. What is number one? Let's see. Who's gonna help me? Carla, what's number one for you? Identify person. Okay. Who has skill and knowledge? So you say that this one is to identify personal current skills and knowledge. You are correct. Number two. Uh, let's see. Number two goes to Carlos Antonio. What's number two? Tell me. Identify training solution. Number two, exactly. It is to identify, identify, oops, see. Identify training solution. Perfect. Number three goes to Ingrid. Just a second, teacher. The number three. Hey. Evaluate. Performance after training. Yes. Yeah. Evaluate performing after training. Okay. Evaluate performance after training. Number four. Let's see. Number four goes to Luis Abrego. Okay, teacher. Design skill and scholarship gaps. Okay. To the style, skill, skill, and knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge. Knowledge gap. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. And number five goes to, uh, 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 um, let's see, Marlon. Hi, teacher. Number five, the jump. Exactly. Analyze. To analyze the job. Simple, right? Okay, that's okay. the way it is, guys. Okay, now before we move on, so I can do the next activity on calm and everything. Let me get guys the, the second attendance, if you don't mind. Let's see, Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elibardo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Thank you, Gabriel. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Oh, 
Coleman, Saúl, Kiron Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Here I am, teacher. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Piollo Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio de Rodas Porzales. Present teacher. Thank you. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Echeseni Alvarenga. Thank you, Oscar. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Fernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Present teacher. Ok, guys. Let's see. For next activity, we go back to the manual, but we go, we are going to jump into page number 36. Ok. We got a conversation that we are going to, well, practice. Let me share with you the conversation. Okay, here we are. Okay, the conversation goes like this. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new server. It says major task of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payment correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that grooming, and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. I repeat. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major task of the position. Oh. Servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget, servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a chair training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, guys, now let's see. <laughs> Grooming, that means about the, the, the cleaning. Cleaning, like uh, when you shave, when you comb your hair, that's grooming, okay? So you don't look like disordered, you don't look messy. Messy means like in disorder, okay? Now let me send you again to the group so you can practice.
Hello, teacher. Hello, let's see what are we doing here in your... It's It's good, teacher. <laughs> it's good, nice, no, not good. You need to practice. Let me send you to a group. Yes, teacher. Let me see what I'm going to send to you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Miss Mary, I'm going to send him to listen.
Magdaleno, what you doing here? Teacher, my signal get me out. Okay, who were your partners? Um, uh, Mr. Uh, number two, maybe group number two. I don't remember her name or last name, I don't know. Okay. Help the will that grooming and the personal appearance Okay, look at the bit message. <clears throat> appearance, appearance. Appearance, okay, thank you, teacher. Appearance, okay, look at bit message. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything. And organize. Organize uh, everything. And you send them an email to let then no. Okay. Okay, Holman, let's practice together. Okay. Uh, I start. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we will use the chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major tasks of the position uh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. <clears throat> Don't forget servers how to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit missing. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay. I'm going to switch, I'm going to start. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. <clears throat> it says major task of the position and servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget server have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look up bit messy okay let's have a short training next saturday in the morning i will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know okay for me it's okay Let's see, we are just waiting.
Okay, let's see. Carlos Antonio and Orlando Nunez. You start, Carlos. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs in our new servers. It says mere tasks, task of the position, as servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget server had to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday morning. In the morning, I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, well, well done. Marlon and Holman. Marlon, you start. Okay, teacher. We will use this card to analyze the training needs of our new servers. <clears throat> it says major tense of the position uh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget, server have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize, organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Perfect. Magdaleno, are you ready to practice? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, Carla Lisset, you are Magdaleno's partner. Carla, you start. Okay. <clears throat> we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. <clears throat> it's a major task on the position. Um, uh, server are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget service had to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that rooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and send you and them email to let them. Okay, Magdaleno, correctly, correctly. You said correctly, it's correctly. Correctly, okay, correctly, teacher, thank you. That's correct. Thank you. Let's okay. see. Jose Ortiz de Luis Abrego. Okay, teacher. You start, Jose Ortiz. Okay. 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 We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It size measures tanks of the position and servers are, are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers how to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that grooming. A personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short train next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, perfect guys, hold on. Ingrid. You ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, Ivan. Are you ready, Ivan? 
Ok, let's see. Carlos Anibaldo. Ready, mister? Hello. hello ok, hello. Carlos Anibaldo and Ingrid. Ingrid, you start. Ok, we will use the chart to analyze the training needs of, the, your, of your new service. Keep saying my major tells of the position and the server are in the sharing of the adding food correctly and the processing payment correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that growing and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. Okay, okay. Let's have on the short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything. I you send team I it make to let team know. Okay. Okay. Carlos, handling, handling. 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 Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Now let's see. Uh, uh, um, where is Luis Abrego? Luis Abrego, your time has come, my friend. Yes, teacher. I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. The floor is yours. Okay, teacher. Um, on this occasion, I will talk about the topic pollution of the environment. It's a topic very important. Uh, in this case, I remember how our issue with was before. And Today is different and it is because we human beings break the normal functioning of the planet. And whoever we must be more aware because as people we bring our planet to an irreversible state. It is important to educate our generation so that they can change the way they do things for the better. And sometimes we are to blame for the action that our children have the wrong idea of not taking care of what is useful for each other. And we must show them value so that they can grow in harmony, respected than each Thing has to be value, no matter how value it is. Uh, the reality is that we live in an environment where what is the other of the day is garbage, pollution rivers, animal affected by the greenhouse effect, smoky pollution, felling of forests. And it is sad to see how we treat our planet, but we still have time to change the mentality of each person is only required a lot of will. Let's make a difference. Uh, only that teacher, this is the, my topic. Okay, that's perfect. Well Thank done. You. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Uh, Okay. You know, comments, I will talk to you later in private, okay? Okay, teacher. Let's see. Next one. Orlando Francisco, your turn. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Tonight, I don't have a specific topic to speak to you but I would talk to you about an experience that I have in my life 
I met the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints on 2012 when I was probably, let's see, like 18 years old. I can remember very well in this time. Okay, but that's not the point. The point is that I met the church. I did. I decided to uh, listen to the missionaries, uh, their teachings, and all the things that it's it's beautiful to learn. By the way, and uh, I decided to be baptized in the church. So it was a baptized. good experience. Baptized. Yeah, baptized in the church. And it was a really good experience. Well, uh, time uh, was really good. And then I decided uh, to go in a mission. So I prepared the papers and the all paperwork. the Thank you. Paperwork and all the... Uh, uh, let's see, all, all, all the documentation that they asked. So I received my calling and I, I was calling to serve in Costa Rica. So I went there uh, for two years and then I was a missionary for that church, for the church. So I met a lot of people there. Uh, I learned about the culture, about the food. Uh, I met uh, to many different places. I I went to a beach. The name of the beach is Cola de Ballena. You can look on Google. Some picture is so beautiful. And then I I passed two years there, so it was. A really good experience. I helped people there to met a little bit about Christ and all the things that is wonderful to preach. What else? Um, I met a lot of uh, too much North American persons. Uh, that's the main reason that I learned some English. Uh, what else? Uh, I can't remember what else. Uh, that's okay that's okay about two, that two years but it, it, in fact all that experience helping me to improve like a person uh, to be more uh, confident to have more um, wisdom for example that we know is, is necessary to be a good person and that's it. That's cool. Yeah. Excellent. Well done. A if I had experience. Yeah. If I had the the opportunity to go again, I would oh, take yeah. it without no doubt. I know. I know. I know. It's a good experience, I imagine. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see. Oscar Armando, ready for tonight? So tonight was Oscar Armando, was Rosalina, Vilma Xenia, Wilfredo, Marlon, are you ready for tonight? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, go ahead, sir. Okay, I type. Uh... I walk for types of hobbies you need to have before select that what your hobbies are going to be. Remember that hobbies should always be a pleasure activity that you enjoy doing and doing, sorry, doing, and that gives you genuine uh, interest, genuine, genuine, genuine interest. Genuine interest, even so, it is interesting to make your hobbies cover different areas to achieve for fuller life. 
when that makes your money, for example. Have you ever thought that a hobby could help you earn money? And the truth is, it would be wonderful to be able to make money from something you truly enjoy. And in re reality, it's not that complex that monetize your hobbies, even less so it the technolog technological age we live in. For example, uh, uh, you paint picture, restore doll or architect object, create content for social networks, sell craft, uh, offer private lesson uh, on a subject your master and are pass passionate about. A woman sitting uh, at a computer making money from a hobby is another way to make to the most of it. Other example, one, one that keeps you in shape. Hobbies are also an excellent way to make care of your body for those doubt who have found a, a sport, they are uh, position about practicing practicing in is not a position punishment or a moment in which they have to use all they will will pull willpower on the con contrary it is their space for disconnection and fun the idea is to understand that not everyone is the same and you need to know yourself in order to choose the sport, the best sweet you. Do you like to, to do things alone is a group, in, in a group? Do you enjoy very energetic, energetic, energetic? Yeah. Energic, uh, no, 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 um, energetic, no, yeah, but the idea is that you're giving is like motivated, like uh, with a lot of energy. Okay, for more gently activities, do you like to spend time outdoors? This question will help you make your choice. For example, you can. Uh, up for one of the following, for example, more dance, go for a going, go in the park, practicing yoga, playing soccer with friends, surfing, other type of the hobbies, one that uh, foster your creative. Uh, go for example, Plastic and artist activities such and drowning, drawing. Such as drawing, 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 or uh, pottery uh, or poesy. Yeah, pottery. pottery. Oh, poetry, poetry. Uh, poetry. You let your ima ima imagination, imagination, Iman imagination room will be reading fiction stories. Start playing an instrument, learn new language. That's it, teacher. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, always good topic. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's. let's... Okay, guys, well, we got, uh, I'm just going to read a grammar topic because we are not going to cover it today, but uh, I'm just going to give you the idea. Monday and Tuesday, Monday, we are going to work with future again. And Tuesday, we're going to work with future, but in two different ways. And just to let you know a little bit about that, let me share with you. So you can see this is a little bit ahead on the manual. And the manual says how to use wheelbarrow and progressive. 
Okay, we are expressing future in both cases. Something interesting here is this. If you remember when we use will, we are talking about future intentions and like spontaneous offers, promises, and decisions. Okay, I will help with the document. They will ask about e learning options. We will be on time. I will go to the store later. That's a decision. It's spontaneous. I just decided. Okay. Now, when you have made arrangements for something, you use the present progressive, but not just the present progressive. We use the present progressive with a time expression. Okay. Look, and it's if you notice, it's a, a close future. The manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. The servers are having a training this weekend. He is meeting the boss at the airport tomorrow at 6 a.m. Look at the example. The manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. Oh, okay, there's a conference. That conference was planned before. The manager, of course, if you are flying, I mean, you don't order a ticket like right now in the spur of the moment. It's something planned. You made the arrangement. You call to the, perhaps to the travel agency or you talk to the, to the airline in order to get your ticket and you need to see where you're going to stay, make arrangements for the hotel and everything. So plans and arrangements, present progressive. That's why it's flying, but this it's talking about their across before. The servers are having a training this weekend. In this case, are having a training. Okay. It's not like, uh, okay, I just decided that you are going to have a training. No, because I mean, particularly in that area, you are talking about people who is always working, busy, so you need to make arrangements who's going to be covering for them or perhaps a special schedule for the training. What are the topics you are going to talk to them about? It's not like uh, something is spontaneous. It's not a promise, it's an arrangement, plan. Look at the other one. He is meeting the boat at the airport tomorrow at 6 p.m. Okay. The boss is flying. So he is meeting him at the airport tomorrow at 6 p.m. He already knows the time of arrival. It's not spontaneous. It's not a decision. It's not a promise. It is a fact. Something that is planned. Okay. This topic we are going to be talking again on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we are going to be covering a little bit more about that. Okay, guys? But now, speaking, let's talk. We've been like not talking too much. Let me check on something. Teacher. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Will is for. Uh... Possibility is like a possibility, or is that a situation more far? No, the thing is this will you use it when it's something spontaneous, when it's a promise? Like you say, Hey, I'm going to move soon from this house, and I tell you, Oh, I will help you moving your stuff. The promise. Okay. Oh, I will help you. Come on me. But really? it's... That's a promise. Okay. Will you use it also? Uh, imagine that you are walking home. Usted va llegando acá, estaba caminando. And you know that uh, you are going to have dinner later. But you pass by the store. Pasa por la tienda and you say, ah, I will buy sweet bread. The moment I saw the tenda, I said, I'm going to buy pan dulce. I feel it. I'm in the mood. It's a decision spontaneous. Okay? Mm, but uh, uh, can be like a possibility? Yeah. It will rain tonight. Va a llover ahora. I haven't gone out. No he salido a ver. 
Mình tăng người đấy à? The the other um, progressive uh, progressive put progressive is ah uh, with present progressive there's a plan. Justamente. Yeah. Hey, I am moving uh, tomorrow. Justamente. Me voy a mudar mañana. And I tell you, hey, what time? And you say to me, oh, at seven, I will start getting it, everything ready. And I tell you, okay, I will be in your house 6.30 in the morning. So we can get organized on everything. There's a plan. There's an arrangement. Ya planeamos algo. It's near. Es, es cercano, pero no solo eso. Hay un plan. Mm -hmm. Se han hecho arreglos. Para hacerlo. Ok. Es. 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 O sea que es. Eh, que sí va a pasar. Pues, o sea que ya está un plan y que se va a realizar. It's. It's closer to reality. Es más cercano a la realidad. Uh, around uh, a week. Yeah. Yeah, it can be in a week. Not more or a month. Well, Next. it depends. The problem is this. We cannot be specific on time when we talk about the future because future is not real yet. Okay? Like, uh, I am... I am finishing my my career next year. You see? I mean, related to the length of the career, yo le digo, eh, estoy terminando mi carrera el próximo año. Estoy hablando del futuro. Relacionado con el largo de duración de una carrera que son cinco años, es bien corto lo que me falta. So, it depends on, on the context. The context is the one that is telling us. It's not one day, one hour. I mean, you cannot be specific with time when you say close future. It depends on the major, on the bigger context. Depends on the context. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks. Thanks. Teacher. No problem. No problem. Excellent. It's always good when you ask, guys. It's always good. Okay. Now, guys. Today, our topic of discussion is violence. Okay. So, you know that uh, violence is a, it's a big problem today in the world, right? I mean, you can see it, you turn on the news and you see violence in any form, one form or another happening all around the world. And that's the topic we are going to discuss. Uh, when you hear the word violence, what do you think of? Is the world more violent today? Are there different sorts of violence, physical, mental, psychological, domestic? What forms of violence have you noticed? Do people tend to be more violent when they group together like gangs, mobs, crowds. What do you think? What's your opinion on that? That's the topic we are going to be discussing right now, okay? This is going to be fast. You will have just six minutes to discuss because then we come back here and we discuss together. I'm going to get you into bigger groups. Now, the idea is not for everybody to answer the same question. Okay? The idea is for everybody to give an opinion about different aspects of the questions that are presented there. So you are going to be in a little bit bigger groups. Groups are ready, guys. You have six minutes.
the violence uh, is in all all all, all countries all, all places uh, it's a big problem i i think that the the worries have that problem the the human uh, have that the that that problems uh, because uh, the 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 people have to change that situation but it's difficult because the people have um, bad habits the people is bad for for when born the people have um, hate or is bad in uh, um, I don't remember dentro the the inside inside the people is have uh, hate inside all people have uh, hate inside so it's difficult to change that situation but it's a lot of different uh, kinds of violence but I think all people have hate in inside it's, but uh, there there are a lot of uh, bad people, so it's difficult to change that. Okay, we still have Ingrid over here. Ingrid. <clears throat> Hello, Ingrid. Are you available to talk to us? Yeah, maybe she fell asleep. But okay. The next. But yeah, we have a lot of questions over here. What? Do people tend to be more violent when they group together? Gums, moves, and crowns. Nowadays, we trying to change our country by the president loves. In order to to him him, we are changing now. If you see on on in the street, there's no there is there's not much gums there upside. So. I think we're changing for good. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, and speaking of crowns, I think if you're going to see a, a soccer game, crowns can be dangerous because if someone is a, a okay. Just for example, if you are one, if you like to be one team in, there's another one in another team. They can be violence. You know, I don't know if you understand because I didn't explain myself well. Um, yes, it's, it's okay. Um, what can you say about it? Do people tend to be more violent when they group them up? Remember, the, the word is violent. Okay. Uh, yes, for me, uh, is yes when the people because the people when you are with 
your friends or the gangs are with the with with his uh, with uh, his gangs members they they are more violence because violence violence uh, violence they are my violence because uh, uh, they feel more safe with more friends or or gangs member is not not the same uh, one gun one game uh, full game and friends so is yes because is 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 for uh, for example uh, when I uh, when I am alone uh, I, I I feel different when with uh, I am with my friends uh, when I I go uh, other place and with my friends I am I am I am feel more safe it is uh, for the the games is uh, similar uh, they are more violent I, I think when when there are more person more more people okay what force of violence have you noticed? Uh, the the words I I don't remember. Uh, what's not this not this? Uh, the abyss. Yeah, exactly. Ah, well, the the more common. Okay, 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 okay. Magdaleno, tell me, when you hear the word violence, what do you think of? What's the first thing that comes to mind? In my mind, the gang's member. The gang's member around me with friend in her gang. And I think about families fighting. I think alcoholics fighting and people are shooting other people. This is violence for me. When I when I hear violence, I think about it. I think in a driver, a driver shooting bad words to other one. Things like that. Okay, perfect. 
What about you? Let's see who's Antonio Rodas. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word Ayala? Repeat, please, teacher. What's the first thing that you think of when you hear the word violent? Ah, okay, teacher. It's similar that I told you, Magdaleno. When I hear about violence, I think maybe in domestic violence or I don't know, another families. I when I when I hear about violence, I the almost I think about my song. I saw I I I think in a future. How can how can be the life about my son in a future if the violence is the following violence around the world? Something that I think. I don't know, teacher. Is okay, nowadays, no. yeah. nowadays, nowadays is a little bit difficult, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Now, um, thank you, Antonio. Carlos Antonio Serrano, what about you? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word violence? Okay. Fight, death, racism, gender, sex, I mean, viol violence of gender, gender violence. Yes. And physical physical violence okay interesting well guys uh, it's almost time but before we finish i need to remind you please if it is possible for you to finish the platform this weekend do it please work on it and try to finish it the soon as possible because remember that next week we are going to be running so if you can finish the platform this week this weekend do it i haven't actualized it uh, yesterday nor today i know that some of you have worked but i will tomorrow at night i will actualize my 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 sheet my file and if you got any question contact me okay i'm here to help let me get the final opinion. Oh, by the way, the ones who have not participated on the presentation, you still have Monday and Tuesday, okay? You can do it there. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Pérez. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Thank you, Gabriel. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present Thank teacher. you, Ivan. Thank you, Ingrid. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Here I am, teacher. Juan Francisco Ayala Lemos. Ayala Montana, I'm sorry. Carla Lisbeth García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Luis Mario Fiello Guerrero. Thank you, Luis Mario. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Thank you, Oscar. Rosalina Alvarado. 
Vilma Chesenia Alparenga. Present teacher. Thank you, Yesenia. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Hey guys, have a good night, a good weekend. See you Monday, work in the platform. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, is it okay that the platform number 4.5, la última de. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, you're talking about the platform. Give me 30 seconds so it can load up because I'm. Let's see, you say. Mm -hmm. Section what? 4.5. 4.5. Number five. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He isn't working. Come? Isn't working. Isn't. No se le pone el we, will. No. Because it's next week. He isn't working next week. Working. No me la agarra. Copia la y pegue así como se lo ve. Ya, me agarró. Okay. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. I'm here to help. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
while the time is finished. Good Monday.